Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently just coming up to quarter past nine on Sunday the 15th of January, 2023. I'm currently reading Haunted Yuletide by Jay and Julie Barnson. This was a gift that was sent to me by my friend Jana, so shout out to Jana. Um, I think she actually worked on some of the editing for it. It's basically Christmas horror, a Christmas horror anthology. Um, it's on course for a four out of five. Um, there have been a few stories more recently that I didn't enjoy. One in particular, um, what is it? Te Amo Mamita by Sarah E. Seeley. That was basically like a fucking novella, and I found it really dull. Do we have a table of contents here? I wonder how long it actually was. I don't think we do have a table of contents, but it was really fucking long. Let's have a look. Okay, actually it was only about 30 pages long, it just really dragged for me. And we've had a couple of rhyming ones in here that didn't really hit the mark for me as well, but overall, pretty good book. Next up, I'm going to read Herman Hess, The Journey to the East. In the meantime, I'm going to go and do some work because I'm literally within touching distance of having completed all of the work on my list. It resets at midnight on Sunday. Uh, it goes to a new week and then like all of my weekly five-hour limits and stuff return. Um, but for the moment, I'm kind of hoping that I can push on and get to everything completed so I can just have like an hour where it's like I actually don't have any work to do even if I wanted to. So that's what I'm going to go and do now. Dane reads. Hello, it is me. It is currently quarter to five on Monday the 16th of January 2023. I have a client Q&A call at five, so I'm going to go off and do that in a minute. I've already had another call with a client earlier. I also hit that point that I think I mentioned in my last vlog. Uh, last night I completed all of my work. I had no more client work to do. Um, I'm already back to having like, 18 hours of client work to do, so that will keep me busy for the rest of this week. But hey ho, that is something. I went out earlier, I went to pick up my meds from the pharmacy and um, I also went to Sainsbury's to get some food and stuff, so that's all sorted. Stopped off at the charity shop as well and picked up a few books. Um, and yeah, once basically once I do this call, I'm just gonna crack on. I actually wanna, I wanna repaint the bottom half of my front door, um, cause it's just looking a bit gnarly. The top half's fine, the bottom half is like, almost like got mold or something on it. So I just want to give that a little touch up on the paint. Other than that, all my housework's pretty much done. Writing wise, I think I hit just under 64,000 words on Grebo's yesterday. Um, and yeah, it is insanely close to the end. I might finish it by the end of this week. Um, so that's good. And oh yeah, I got paid by another client. So I'm now at a point where I've already paid my tax and now I can pay my um, rent as well. So that's good because we like to be able to pay the rent. And uh, yeah, I think that's all I got for you really. I, I finished reading Haunted Yuletide, that was a 4 out of 5. I'm now reading The Journey to the East by Herman Hess. I'm about halfway through. It's okay so far, it's probably going to be a 3 out, 3.5 out of 5. It's quite hard to wrap my head around what he's talking about to be honest. Um, but it does have an introduction by Timothy Leary who is like the father of LSD. And that also helped to put a lot of it into perspective too and for me to really understand what the hell he's talking about. So it's been alright. Um, and that's where I'm at and Biggie's over there. Hey Biggs. Clean yourself. Been a good boy. Yeah. Yeah, he's been a good boy. Hello everybody, it is your boy. It is currently 5 to 11 on a Tuesday the 17th of January. I've just pulled a muscle in my neck from doing pull-ups, which is kind of a bummer. And also that kind of stuff always makes me anxious. I've also been having quite anxious sleep lately. Um, so in general, it's not been the best of times. I was up to like 8 a.m. last night and then slept till about 6 p.m. So I haven't really seen the sunlight today. It's currently like minus four here as well, so it's very cold. Um, I'm reading Consider Her Ways and Others, which is a short story collection by John Wyndham. So far, it's just okay. Probably a 3.5 out of 5. Just cracking on with a bit of productivity, really, although I'm thinking about going to bed now. And then Shay is coming over tomorrow. She's got the dentist at 6 p.m. and then she's coming over after that. So that's something nice to look forward to. So that's my little update for today. Next, I think I'm going to read The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. Yo, what up? It is uh, 10 past 8 on Wednesday the 18th. Wednesday? Yeah, it must be. Wednesday the 18th of January. Um, I went to bed at like 11pm last night and got a few hours sleep, probably like four hours sleep. Um, woke up at like 6 this morning. I've just watched 13 Factors That Saved Apollo 13 on Netflix. So that was pretty interesting. I did enjoy watching that. Still reading the same book. Obviously, I, it's not been long since I updated you guys. But I want to film today's vlog so I can tick it off. Um, oh, my eBay listing um, limit has been increased, so I will link below to my eBay store because I have a lot of books and stuff on there. And now that my listing's been increased, I should be able to slowly over the next few days, the plan is to like finish off listing 
all of uh, all of my un all of my red books, all of the ones that I've kind of unhauled, because I'm kind of constantly cycling through now, getting rid of the old to, to replace them with the new. Um, just uploading here some new uh, videos to me to me YouTube, so that's all done. And then because right, basically the issue I have here is that I only have so much space on my Mac, um, so I have to like a load of my unedited videos are all stored in my Dropbox um, but they're, they're added to my uh, video editing library and so that basically means if I if I have my editing software open and I open a project with one of these files in that isn't actually on my computer anymore it just crashes the software and then I have to restart my computer and I just accidentally did that so now I'm waiting for it to restart um, it's pretty cold today it's like last I checked it was minus five uh, in Celsius I'll show you outside look you can kind of see how the grass is all frozen um, neighbors fence is fucked that back fence down there isn't gonna hold on that one down there it's not gonna last much longer but that's not my part of the garden my part of the garden is the bit that's nice and that has stuff so yeah it's not really my problem uh, at some point as well I wanna you can see there's like water in some of my pots because I'm an idiot and didn't drill holes in the bottom of them so at some point possibly today I'm gonna drill holes in the bottom of them but if it stays this cold I imagine that water's frozen anyway um, but yeah, there's also some stuff behind the shed I want to th throw out, so I've got to go outside in this cold later. Um, also, Shay is hopefully coming around this evening. She's got a dentist appointment, and so she's hopefully coming around after that, probably about 7-ish. So hopefully I stay awake for that. Um, and I'm going to make a roast dinner, so I need to go out and get ingredients for that soon. So that is where I am at. Greetings everybody! It is currently 20 to 11 on Friday the 20th of January. Uh, Shay came over on Wednesday um, and I cooked a delicious meal for us, which was very nice. Um, and then she stayed over Wednesday night, stayed here Thursday and went back earlier today. Um, we've just been having a productive old time. We've been playing some uh, Wii, we've been playing Worms. We watched a couple of movies and stuff. I introduced her to Snatch. We finished our Jigsaw, so that's very cool. Um, Shay has also been working on a new piece of art, as you can see there. And yeah, just been being productive. I've had some work, do getting some work done. I need to do a little run to the post box later. I've been listing a load of extra eBay stuff because my selling limits have increased. And so because of that, I have, uh, you know, been selling more stuff as well. So I have to do more trips to the post box. So I'm going to do a post box run in a minute just to get that stuff sent out. And then I'm going to have a shower and get into bed and watch something on Netflix probably. I've been watching a bit of YouTube as well, catching up on my YouTube subscriptions and just generally being productive really. Shay is at the moment playing Sims at home. She's just sent me this. Hang on, let me show you. She's installed a mod, so she just killed somebody. So that's very cool. Um, I am reading The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. So far it's on course for a four out of five. I'm most of the way through this now. Uh, and after that I'm probably gonna read I Follow You by Peter James. The other news is that um, I've been like prepping stuff for our trip to Iceland because it's 12 days now till we go to Iceland so just like at the moment I'm checking into the flights and stuff um, I'm working on an itinerary of what we're going to try and do while we're there I'll obviously be taking the camera along as well and I think that's pretty much the main stuff I've got for you all right we made a gingerbread house didn't we Shay I'm going to remove that so I can get a good connection okay ready mm. oh my god <laughs> in a pile. <laughs> All right. Nice. Fine. Okay, I think that's crushed, man. <laughs> R.I.P. house. Any last words? Uh, you're good, he's delicious. Mm. Hello, it's your boy, me. It is currently about 10 past 10 on Wednesday, the 25th of January. We're just gonna keep this going to uh, have a second week now because 
I missed Monday. Uh, the reason being, my I think I mentioned, but my eBay selling account, uh, my eBay selling limit has been increased. So I've been spending a lot of my time actually editing stuff and putting new listings on eBay. Um, so now we have videos scheduled for at least the next couple of weeks, which is very exciting. Um, Shay's been over, we've been hanging out, playing some Wii. She's been doing some new art, so that's very cool. Um, maybe if you guys are interested, let me know. And uh, if I can get Shay to agree to it, we might be able to do like an art tour or something like that. Uh, she's got some Posca pens now, so she's been using those. They're like the fluorescent pen things. Reading wise, I finished reading Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. That was a pretty solid four out of five. Um, the ending of it was maybe a little bit of a letdown, but not too much. Um, and overall, I think it's the best of Ware's books. I then read uh, I Follow You by Peter James, which is set on uh, Jersey, which is one of the like minor British Isles down south towards France. Um, and it's about this surgeon who starts stalking somebody through a, a running app and is basically committing medical malpractice to try and get this woman to, to sleep with him. Um, and it was really good, a four out of five. Interesting to read James doing like a thriller. This is kind of like, it's kind of like the older style of stuff that he used to write before he did his Roy Gray series. So it's nice to see him write it now with his like current writing skills, um, but without using, you know, the Roy Grace characters. So that was cool. And now I'm reading The Accident on the A35 by Graham McRae Burnett, which is also shaping up to be a 4 out of 5, um, maybe even a 4.5, we'll see how it goes. I'm not that far in at the moment, but um, I've really enjoyed all of the Burnett stuff I've read in the past. Um, this is actually the second in this sort of series. It's kind of got this cool gimmick because he presents himself as having translated this book based on the work of like a dead French writer. Um, and this manuscript was supposedly found after uh, the writer's mother's death. Um, so I'm not sure how he's going to keep going with that because he can't just keep indefinitely writing new books really because the writer's supposed to be dead, you know. So we'll see how he handles that. But I am enjoying it. And um, yeah, it's just, it's kind of a combination between like cosy mystery and crime and then like literary fiction as well. So it's all pretty good. Oh, and uh, Biggie is down there on the sofa. He's just chilling. This time next week I will be in Iceland, um, so yeah, I must remember to finish my vlog kind of this weekend and then next week will be the Iceland vlog and me and Shay are hopefully going to go and see the Northern Lights, so fingers crossed for that. Yo, it's me. It is currently about 3pm on Sunday the 29th of January 2023. I'm very tired, I haven't been sleeping particularly well, um, in part because I've been doing loads of work just trying to kind of max out my hours basically make sure that I get paid a decent amount because I have a big tax bill that's due I've already paid it uh, and I'm up to date on my rent I actually owe council tax and then obviously rent and all my bills go out on the first of the month but also I'm going to Iceland on the first of the month so I need some money and also oh yeah the trains there's trade strikes here in the UK and they're striking on the first and the third of February which is the day I leave and the day I come back so I've got to get a taxi to and from the airport so it's going to cost like 110 quid to get to and from the airport as opposed to like it was going to cost about 40 so that's that's a pain but we are we are going to make it I'm sure um, I've been watching lots of stuff on Netflix. I've been watching stuff about like tr films based on real life stories of like one was on about a terror attack and one was about like a hostage situation. So it's been very interesting. I also watched uh, Keep Breathing, which was quite good. It was about a woman who sort of survives a plane crash and is on her own in the Canadian wilderness. So that's good. I don't know what I'm going to watch next. Been catching up with my YouTube a little bit as well. Been catching up with my editing. I'm now up to the point where I've nearly got a month of videos preset ready to go. Um, which is nice. I'm also almost at the point at which all of my um, video editing files can now fit on my Mac because for a long time they haven't been able to fit on there. I've also almost finished adding all of my eBay listings as well because um, my uh, eBay selling limit got increased so that's very nice. Reading wise, I think last time I updated you I was probably reading um, The Accident on the A34 or whatever it's called by Graham McRae Burnett which was good, that was a 4 out of 5. Uh, I then read The Crack and Wakes by uh, John Wyndham, did really enjoy that. Um, I was going to do a review on it, but it turns out I did actually read it two years ago and did a review on it then and I'd totally forgotten. So you can just go and watch the review from two years ago, I don't need to reshoot it. But I did very much enjoy it, even though I didn't realise it was a reread, four out of five. Uh, I'm listening to the audiobook of Lethal White by Robert, Robert Galbraith, aka J.K. Rowling, which is not very good so far. I'm like... I don't know, 10% of the way in or something and it hasn't really started the crime angle yet. It's just going on about Robin's relationships with Strike and her uh, her husband as well. And I don't like any of the, those characters. I find them all to be terrible people. So it's just very tedious. Um, 
But hey ho, that's probably going to get a 3 out of 5 unless it improves very quickly. But I will persevere and then I also have trouble blood up there which I'm expecting to not like because I've heard bad things about it. And now I'm reading Damien by Herman Hesse and I am probably 60, 70 pages in but it's not a huge number of pages. Uh, very good, it reminds me of like Stoner. It does what Hess is really good at of taking these like relatively normal lives and just investigating them and getting philosophical along the way. So I've been enjoying that. I will be doing a review although so far I've only tabbed three things. And um, yeah, that's where I'm at. That's on course probably for a four out of five. Um, I'm going to love you and leave you. I've got a few more things to photograph down there that I'm going to put up on my eBay store. Um, yeah, and then it's just cracking on really. So thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.